Mr. Tim has been gone for the last, like, feels like a month. Yeah. It's, it's been a week. Yeah. The crew today for the chest and back workout. That's what we're hitting on. We're all hitting chest and back. Yeah. Mr. Tim Rodriguez. Mr. Show. Daniel Huang. Show. And Joe Bened Benedettini. Well, Benedettini. Yeah. So, chest and back workout coming soon. We've been... It's been a busy day. It's a Monday. Um, lots of stuff was behind. Tim got back in today after a week off, so we've just been catching up. Danae and Nikki are here in the other office, also taking care of lots of stuff. But we're going to go in this warehouse. It's already 6.30 p.m. Been here since like 8-ish, and I'm ready to like do some activity right now. I'm ready to move and get going. So here's another little setup right now, uh, what I've been doing all day. Here's a quick sneak preview of something cool we're working on. It's looking good, look, looking good, looking good. Looking good. Start on that screen, man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> this, the photo caption to this picture right here. <laughs> Come here, baby girl. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Come here, baby girl. That's a, that's a Tim Rodriguez look right there. So we're sipping on some C4 uh, mixed with Amino X. We're all sipping on some pink lemonade. Let's do it. Less than four weeks out now, officially. Hey, Nikki, how do you feel being less than four weeks out? You trying to thwank today? Got your ass kicked? And Danae's recovering from a sickness. So She's at like 80% now, not Maybe 100. 85. 85. She, was, these, she was at 50 yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Today's music, we are going to go to the garage. We're gonna put some Pandora on. And I'm feeling some ACDC yeah, 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 today. We're gonna go here. Like We're gonna do some ACDC. Turn that volume up in the garage, in the warehouse. Let's go. <laughs> Gotta open up the warehouse doors. Oh, there are. One's already open. They opened earlier. Ah! Got the blue shoes. It's a massive blue. Go. Well, hello there. Warming up a little bit after these, I like to do some, uh, some of these. Some rotator cuff work. Those days we feel good on the warm-ups. I feel like we both been like so cooped up, Tim and I, just like all day in that office. It's like on the computer, on the computer, it's like body wants to like do something. And the C4 kicked in. <laughs> Alright, let's add some weight. This is like so unconventional workout music. There's actually a perfect talk for this though. Yeah, but like, like everything else. Yeah. So we're gonna work with 280, aiming for three sets of five, a little bit under four weeks out. So I'm using chalk. I think one of the main things for me is chalk. Chalk really, really helps me on the bench press. So not even too much. Enough to like, grip the bar a little better. Come on. 
Easy. Alright, what's going on YouTube family? I'm here at the bottom little corner of the screen and trying something a little bit different. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you do or if you don't or if you like standard commentary better. But comment down below. Let's get into this. I'm going to go through the workout, explain what we're doing, why we're doing it, and just give as many tips as I can throughout this entire commentary. So uh, first movement we did was the bench press flat bench going for three working sets. So keep in mind, I say three sets, but we're doing about six sets leading up to those three sets. So uh, three sets of five reps, really focusing on going as heavy as possible, keeping the form locked in and not getting too, too close to failure, especially being under four weeks out, uh, but still trying to lift as heavy as I can for my body weight and for where my strength levels are at right now. Uh, on the flat bench, really focusing on, I wanna keep my elbows tight, but I used to be super, super tight tucked in. Uh, I'm kind of coming out a little bit more, as you can see me here. So I'm not going way out here when I'm pushing up, and I'm not way in here, I'm kind of in between, and I feel like that's helping me push more weight and just stay a little bit stronger uh, on my bench, on my, you know, while I'm dropping weight, dropping weight, dropping weight. Uh, currently, I'm weighing in right between, this morning I was 166 even, 166 pounds. Uh, my lowest weigh-in for the prep is 165.4, and but I haven't hit that in like seven days close to seven days already. So um, I'm sort of hovering in that 166, 165 to 167 rep rate, or weight range. Uh, after the bench press, moved on to a back movement and did five sets of lat pull downs. Uh, not going too, too wide, say more of a, just neutral, something that feels, you know, it's all different for everyone, it's comfort level. So right here for me, and just pulling down, getting a full range of motion on the movement. And that's what's most important. It's not how wide you go or how narrow you go. It's are you getting full range of motion and are you contracting your lats optimally and just getting the most out of the movement. So five sits there, anywhere from 10 to 15 reps, it's sort of dependent per set. Uh, next, move on to the incline barbell as you're seeing here. Now this is, this is not a 45 pound bar. This is actually a 35 pound bar. It's a little bit thinner. And uh, we Daniel and I kind of messed around with it last workout, just doing some incline and I really like how it felt, so. I don't know, maybe, I don't know the reasoning, I'm not gonna try to think about it right now, I'm just talking about the commentary, but we did th uh, two sets of 10 with 165, a 45 and 25, uh, or 75, and then here, what you're watching here, I sped up the clip a little bit, but we're doing rest pause, okay? So we're going, same weight, you hit rest pause, I prefer to not drop the weight, I'll keep the same exact weight, and I'll go for three rounds. So round one, I'm gonna pump out, Say I have like ten in the nine or ten in the tank, I'll do about eight reps. I'll rest ten to twelve seconds and do another three or four, and then rest another ten to twelve seconds and then do another three or four. And uh, just really trying to stay about one rep shy of failure every time you do that. So in a two minute set, you're getting a lot more volume in. Um, it's a nice little tool I like to use to get more volume in. And yeah, so I wouldn't do that every single set. It definitely is something that I would sort of implement here and there uh, just as a method you know, just like superset rest pause uh, you have drop sets and it's something I like to incorporate every now and then um, so yeah we did three total working sets there with that third set being a rest pause for the second back movement we went to a chest supported t-bar row here going a little bit closer and just pulling up through the elbow so when you're here you're pulling through the elbow and because you're pulling through your elbow instead of you're just focusing on your arms you pull that elbow back and both your elbows back and you're gonna feel better contraction in your lats. I also like to think of putting a tennis ball in between right here on your back and trying to squeeze that tennis, imaginary tennis ball. Uh, here we're doing some posing updates. Uh, I did, you're gonna hear later in this video, I did have a refeed, uh, a little bit, uh, it was a pretty big refeed and I do feel a little bit watery during this video. This was filmed yesterday. I was like 168 point something this morning. It's not all about weighing, but I did feel a little bit watery. Um, I think in the next few days I'll definitely sort of drop that water weight, um, fluctuations happen, water intake, sodium intake, uh, meal timing, so many different stress levels, so many different variables that can affect how you're looking from day to day, uh, but staying consistent with everything is going to yield the most consistent appearance and how you look. So um, 
I'm feeling pretty confident. I definitely feel good. Like I said, I do feel like there's like a really specifically, I feel like my obliques are looking good, but I feel like my abs just were sort of bloated this day. Not bloated, just a little, I know you guys hate, I hate when people complain, oh, I feel bloated, I feel watery. So I'm gonna stop complaining. But uh, yeah, here's a back shot and feeling good. I feel like I'm a lot wider. Uh, I'm leaner and I'm wider than I was my last competition. I'm almost as lean as I was on show day. I would say in like 10 to 12 days, I'll be as lean as I was last show, but I have a lot more muscle mass this time. Um, it's been about a year and a half since I competed and my goal is to step on stage about eight to, ten, eight to 11 pounds heavier than I did last competition. So that would mean in a year and a half, put on anywhere from eight to 10 pounds of muscle. Of muscle leaning more towards an eight rep range, or eight range, but I'm happy with that. Um, I've been training officially since I was 14, but I didn't really, really start training and getting into trying to grow my, training for aesthetics and strength and building my muscles um, until about 18. So 21 right now, 22 right now, I'm sorry, 22. And doing the best I can. You know, everyone has different genetics, guys. Everyone has different strong points, weak points. Uh, some people may have the perfect blocky, thick abs and have tiny little twig arms. Some people have huge arms, a huge chest, like a small little waist and yeah, not so great of abs. Some people, you know, just, just terrible calves, but they'll have huge shoulders. You know, it, it depends from person to person. Um, but just make the most out of what you can. And everyone has a blueprint. Everyone has their genetic code, which there's a lot of things that you can't change. You can't change how tall your bicep is or uh, how aligned your abs are. You can't change a lot of these things. All you can do is build more muscle, become stronger and bigger, shed it back down and just look better than you did the year before. So focus on that in your training. Uh, after the pool thing, the chest supported row, moved on to four sets of pec deck, 12 to 15. And last back movement was a hammer strength row. Um, I'm really liking this one. Just doing two plates and a quarter. So two plates and 25 for about 12 reps. And again, pulling through that elbow. Uh, after that last back movement, we did, I wanna say three sets of 15 over here on the lower ab raises, just focusing. You could keep your legs straight. I personally prefer, I feel like I focus more on my abs when I'm not trying to focus on keeping my legs straight. I just focus on bringing my knees up towards my face and curling my hips. So here's my butt right here, upwards. And that's just gonna contract your abs um, and get a full stretch and squeeze, stretch and squeeze. So I'm about to show you guys a different angle right here. In three, two, one. Hopefully this is on time. Okay, three, two, one. And now. So that's gonna conclude this commentary, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed Summer Shredding, episode 26, I think. Pretty positive, episode 26, possibly 27. Um, stay tuned for more. And as we get closer to competition date, I am announcing this because I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot more videos. Um, right now, in like three to four a week, I'm thinking I'm gonna be doing about five or six a week starting pretty soon. So be prepared to see lots of, lots of this. And thank you guys for watching. All right, what's going on, fam? We finished up that workout. It was a chest and back workout, which I'm currently on chest, back, legs, arms and shoulders, arm, shoulder. And uh, I'm sort of repeating that cycle and taking an off day after that sixth workout day. But uh, really great work, really great workout today. One of the best I've had in a while. Um, my last workout, I had an off day yesterday. My last workout was the worst workout I've had in a while. It was an arm and shoulder day, which was, it shouldn't be that taxing. Arms and shoulders should probably be the easiest day of the split, which is why I'd like to put it last in my split. But it was, the toughest thing I've done all prep was getting through that workout and trying new cardio after. Uh, I listened to my body, I allowed myself a refeed that day. I bumped my carbs up, bumped my fat up a little bit, and it was so needed, guys. Like, it was to the point, I was, I felt like I was just gonna fall over. Um, working out, and then I tried to do cardio, and I physically couldn't, so I went home, tried to go up the staircase at our town home, and I just didn't have the energy. So I had a refeed, and uh, I didn't get anything on camera, but I'm feeling a lot better now. And I feel like that refeed allowed me the fuel I need to finish this prep strong. And the reason I'm not incorporating too many right now is because it is, well, we're less than four weeks out. And so I'm digging, 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 digging the next few weeks. And then about a week, about 10 days out, I'm going to start climbing up uh, my, my macros and carbs and hopefully fill out nicely. But that's what's going on, guys. Because of the refeed, I do feel a little bit 
bloated today um, versus how I would feel if you asked me three, four days ago. Um, but I know the water was going to come down. So my sodium was higher than normal that day and a bunch of variables. But lots of work got done today. Um, I feel like everyone's sort of refreshed. Today was Danae's first day here. She's working for Nikki and also for Alphalete. And it's a great team we've got right now. We've got five people here. Uh, Nikki, Danae, Tim, Javon, and myself. And I couldn't ask for anything more. So we're gonna produce some amazing stuff for you all. And I want you to know as well with the high quality videos and Javon recording and stuff, a lot of you do enjoy them, but I just wanna reiterate that I'm never gonna forget the style or format that started this channel. Um, you know, over anything, I like I grab my camera, I talk to this camera, and I talk to you guys. So I understand that and I, I'm keeping these videos in. Um, Javon's here for six weeks and Hopefully we'll be able to hire them full time if things keep going as well as they're going. But, you know, I'm never going to lose this personal, I don't know, I feel like my camera, like my camera's a symbol for you guys and um, without that I wouldn't have this warehouse, I wouldn't have my car, I wouldn't have um, anything. Uh, I'm so thankful. So, I promise to always, always step up the game to the best I can. Uh, never stop pushing myself. Probably never satisfied, guys. Always trying to set the standard. And you should think that way in anything you do, whether it's making YouTube videos, whether it's being in a classroom, you want to be the best person you can be. And you want to be the best. If you're, you want to be the hardest worker in the room at all times, or the hardest working person in your, in your field. And by doing that, and by putting hours and hours of practice and practice and going after things, and that's how you become an elite at what you do.